This video will demonstrate how to use the brush tool in Cloud KO's editor. When an image is opened in the editor, the default tool is the red brush. The red brush is used to hide pixels and the green brush is used to show pixels. To switch between the two, either click the red or green icon in the tool settings or press B for brush on your keyboard. In this image, I'd like to remove the heavy wrinkle remaining on the result. To do this, we need to switch to the background retouching layer. First, click the word Layers to expand the Layers palette. By default, we are always on this top layer, which is the foreground layer that is used to put back missing color on the subject. To remove background color, wrinkles, or shadows, we need to select the bottom layer, which is the background retouching layer. Now I can use the red brush to paint over the area I want to hide. The brush size can be adjusted by pressing the left bracket key on your keyboard to make it smaller, and the right bracket key to make it bigger. To quickly make a straight line, just click, press and hold shift, and click again where you want the line to end. This image has some missing green in the shirt, which is easier to see when switching the background color. To put back the missing green, I will select the green brush. Now I can paint over the transparent area to put the green back. We are also able to adjust the opacity of the brush if needed. We can enter a number between 1 and 100 in the box, or use the shortcut 1 for 10%, 2 for 20, and so on. 0 will bring the brush back to 100%. The default brush hardness is 90, which is good in most cases. Notice that when I paint, the edges have a little bit of a feather on them. The lower the brush hardness, the more feathered the edges of the brush stroke will be. Be sure to watch our other tutorial videos to learn about more ways you can use CloudKO Lights Editor. Thanks for watching.